Hi there and welcome to our next video on distillation. In this video we're going to be looking at what distillation is and the two types of distillation, simple distillation and fractional distillation. So first of all, what is it? So as we've mentioned, there are two types of distillation uh, which are simple distillation and fractional distillation. And the key thing here is that they both separate two liquids in a solution. So let's start off by looking at simple distillation. So simple distillation is used to separate out solutions which contain two liquids. Two liquids of different boiling points. So first of all, the solution is heated and the part of the solution with the lowest boiling point evaporates first. The vapor is then cooled and condensed, which means it is turned back to the liquid form. And now the liquid which has been formed is separated um, and the rest of the solution is left in the beaker. Uh, simple distillation works when two liquids have very different boiling points as we've mentioned. So over here we have a heat supply and this over here is a Bunsen burner. This heats the solution. Over here we've taken an example of salt water. So it will heat this solution up. We've got a thermometer over here to measure the temperature. In this case it's 100 degrees. So we've got the salt staying left in the beaker and the water um, evaporating. So we've got the gas going up. We've got the gas going up and into the condenser over here. Over here at the sides you can see that there's cool water and the gas of the cool water is going to output out of these sides over here and this vapor condenses in the whole condenser so once it's been condensed it has been turned back into a liquid form and then out comes the water into the um, test tube or beaker over here it's a beaker and now by the end of this experiment we've got all the salt left over here and we've got pure water over here and that is separating out a solution with simple distillation so now moving on to fractional distillation so you can use fractional distillation to separate out liquids with similar boiling points. The liquid with the lower boiling point evaporates first. When the temperature on the thermometer reaches the boiling point of this liquid, it will reach the top of the column. So at the top point over here, over here. And when the first liquid has been collected, you can raise the temperature until the next one is as well. So looking at this image over here, over here in this beaker over here, we have the solution of the mixture of two liquids and unlike simple distillation, we have this fractionating column over here. This is filled with glass beads and the solu the liquid with the lower boiling point um, evaporates first and it goes through these first and it reaches the thermometer. The thermometer has to reach the liquid's temperature and it has to be constant. So once it's reached it, now we go through the condenser just like simple distillation and the same process happens here and one of our liquids is separated. But then our temperature could drop again. And because it could drop again, we can get mixtures of both of the liquids coming in. But once we have to wait for the temperature to be constant, then we can be sure that the liquids have both separated out. So one liquid will be left in this over here and one liquid will be left in this peak over here. So it will take some time, but the liquid the temperature has to be constant and once we know it's constant by looking at the thermometer then we know that the two liquids have 
been separated so at the start we can get a mixture of both liquids but more of the lower boiling point liquids in our next video we're going to be looking at some exam questions to do with distillation both simple distillation and fractional distillation in the description bo box below there's a link to a quiz which you can have a go at uh, but that is it for this video. Thanks for watching. I hope you liked it and one last thing Please subscribe and hit the like button